Hello everyone, Steve here with an update to my 32 day easy build clock. And this update makes this clock significantly more reliable. This is the original design over here on the left and the new clock on the right. And they look quite a bit similar, but what's changed is a new gear tooth profile. And then I added alignment tabs onto the frame component. So the, the pieces just go together and the alignment tabs hold the position and then the screws just hold parts in place. Uh, that makes the frame stay a lot more stable. Uh, the other significant change to this clock was a more reliable winding key that I borrowed from some of my other clocks. Uh, the, the original design uses 3D printed components. They're a little bit fiddly and could be prone to breaking off. The new design uses metal rods, very solid and secure, uh, makes the winding much more reliable. The new gear tooth profile used in this clock is what I call perfect print gears. Hopefully I'll have a video describing that in more detail coming soon. That significantly reduces the chance of this clock suffering what I call sticky gears which the original design was, uh, was susceptible to. And I made a few changes to the original design, trying to fix the stickiness and what that basically would be. The clock would have a full drive weight, but the pendulum would swing and the escapement just wouldn't move. What I eventually determined was that there was some engaging friction when the, when the gear teeth start to mesh and that would cause the clock to act like this where the the power is applied but the escapement just doesn't spin and you've done all you can looking for friction everywhere there was a little bit of hidden friction left and that took a new gear tooth profile to solve this problem a few additional changes that were made the hook where the end of the winding cord hangs on, on this clock it's just a screw and I haven't actually experienced it, but I've seen one picture of it where the frame split where that screw went through. And so I replaced that screw with a 3D printed hook. And now there's no chance that the, the frame is going to split. I also added a couple of extra bearings to the ratchet, one on either side and to and at the very back of gear four, the central arbor. Those are minor wear positions, but I think the clock would just become more reliable with bearings in those positions. The clock runs with 3D printed holes for those arbors as in the, the original design, but I think the clock is just more reliable in those positions with bearings. I have parts kits available on my Etsy store. Uh, the link will be down below and the, that kit will be updated to include the extra bearings. Uh, the original design uses five bearings. The new design uses eight. If you fully populate those bearings, uh, you can also use 3D printed bushings that are included in the design. Um, but I recommend the bearings in those positions. The runtime options on this clock are eight, 11, 15, 20, or 32. And those are accomplished by changing the gear ratios between the ratchet and gear four, which is back here. And the 32 day option requires a smaller uh, barrel on the winding drum. Other than that, it's identical to the 20 day mode. The new gear profile used in this design allows this clock to run with significantly lower weight than was needed on the original design. I tested this clock in 32 day mode and it was running reliably with as small as a six pound weight. Although at six pounds, the pendulum amplitude was very slight. The clock would still run. Uh, it actually really needs eight or nine pounds to run reliably. This update is available at my mini factory, the same place that the original design could be purchased from. And if you happen to have purchased the original design, 
you'll have access to the, the new and improved design. Just go back to my mini factory, log in, and you can download the, the new design. At the moment, only the smaller 32-day version of the Easy Build Clock has been updated. Eventually, I'll update the larger Easy Build Clock. I think that one has an 8-inch dial, and run times are not quite 32 days, maybe only 20 days on that version. The smaller version takes less energy, and so it was capable of 32 days. Check out this design at my mini factory. Uh, Redownload the, the design if you've already purchased it, or just check it out in general. Thanks a lot for watching, and hopefully I'll have more videos describing uh, the way the new gear profile works. Thanks a lot. Bye.